crazy got no sense but i don't care they may or may not mean i still don't get it it's like that el cid place down in la only it's el kid ah okay i see my star is on the ascendant that's why i don't i shouldn't bother her while she's singing i don't care what people think of me i'm happy i don't care it's the lyrics to her song Tells me I better not pull a gun like object out in here until it's absolutely necessary. Something tells me I better not pull a gun like object out in here until it's absolutely necessary. Something tells me I better not pull a gun like object out in here until it's absolutely necessary. In gratitude for your continued service. J.J. Valenti. You know, a cigarette lighter shaped like a gun seems like a really bad idea. Hey, you! You talking to me? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. Oh, uh, lay off, Bernie. He's kind of cute. You think you can just waltz in here and make a play for another fellow's girl? Maybe. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? That's it! You're toast! <clears throat> Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. I don't care. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. What's a nice gal like you doing with a guy like Tannen? It ain't so bad. He just takes some. Hey, Toots. Any chance you could sing that can can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. <sighs> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy a kid is. <sighs> yeah. I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend, but until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets, but I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get-out-of-kid card for weeks now. But Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. Hey, if I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh, yeah. Sore throat. 
That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. How about Stairway to Heaven? I sing popular songs, kiddo. You want hymns? Go to a church. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Pick it up with the piano player. He does the set list. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Pick it up with the piano player. He does the set list. I don't care. But what are those? Any lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tana tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. This is no time for word games. This is no time for word games. Hey, back on, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. El Kid, I still don't get it. It's like that El Cid place down in L.A., only it's El Kid. Ah, okay, I see. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, man, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here. Hey, nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? My name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. Wait, you ain't leaving till I get the dope on you. You really with the Valenti gang? Wait, you ain't leaving till I get the dope on you. You really with the Valenti gang? Wait, you ain't leaving till I get the dope on you. You really with the Valenti gang? Louis the Louse, squashed in his prime. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? 
<clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it, a, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, bub. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. I'm looking for a cop named Parker. And this is your lucky night. He's sitting next to you. Him? Yep. Quite a sob story, that guy. Sob story? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dame troubles, psychiatric troubles. You name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. I'm looking for a cop named Parker. And this is your lucky night. He's sitting next to you. Him? Yep. Quite a sob story, that guy. Sob story? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dame troubles, psychiatric troubles. You name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, dame? No way. Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the wall of honor. Know what I mean? So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Wrong guy. What's it like working for Tannen? You looking for a job? No. Then stop being so nosy. What's it like working for Tannen? You looking for a job? No. Then stop being so nosy. So, getting back to Trixie. She sings. She's the kid's squeeze. What more do you need to know? So, getting back to Trixie. She sings. She's the kid's squeeze. What more do you need to know? Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, uh, we met. Y you look familiar. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Those troubles. Trouble? Ha. I don't want to talk Still about all that depressing fun. stuff. I want to party.
Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. All your fears are foolish, Betsy, maybe. You know, Danny, dear, that I'm you. in love with you. So about those troubles. They all started Every on cloud uh, must June 14th. I was sitting down one of Tannen's boys when this, uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub had to have been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. Well, not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Ah, oh, that shit sailed. But the heck with her. I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> you know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Sharing love, they're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear, so no one can hear. Shh. Whisper in my ear, let me read you soft and clear. Don't make it for Tissimo, make it pianissimo. So about Whisper that secret, oh my yeah, ear. my secret. So well, you're my no pal, one can well, I can tell hear. you. Don't let it get out. I've been working for ten months now. What? It's true. <laughs> All I gotta do so is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line. And ten make sure an extra bunch of bills make their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? Yeah, you're a rat. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about Artie McFly? Hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Oh, God. I made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God.
this feeling that has me in its grip. What has me on the edge of curling my lip? Worse in the blues or the front page news, it's rage. I'm overflowing. I've asked my doctor and psychiatrist too. They tell me that there's not a thing I can do. There's no consoling Annie, and there's no controlling this rage. Trust me, things will get better. I'm Just keep listening to the music. Watch. None of the words Daytime, help anymore. Nighttime, anytime, it all <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn gauge. this guy around right now. Summertime, wintertime, spring or fall. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your That's health. Where are you, my Volcano mother? Well, I'm future grandson-in-law. But there's a what? force in nature Never mind. worse than the rest. There's something that I've I got to get off my chest. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tanny. You're working for him. There you go. I'm overflowing with rain. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. Like You're working for him. There you go. In a cage full of Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Every morning, every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? The rent's unpaid, dear, we haven't a bus. But smiles were made, dear, for Annie, people like you. us. In the Trust winter, me, things will get better. Summer, Just keep listening to the fun. music. Why? Time's None a of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can there's turn this guy sure. around right now. The rich get rich and the poor get children. In I the guess meantime, now I know why you won't arrest Tanny. You're working for him. There you go. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Crazy got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent. My Annie, star is you. On the ascendant. Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? I don't care. None of the words help what anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. I don't think they'd be interested in my caricature. This is no time for word games. I don't think so.
Trixie? Yeah? Nice caricatures up there, huh? Yeah, Zane's an ace cartoonist. But it's kinda hard for me to look at all those faces knowing the guys they belong to are all six feet under. Hey, your song seemed to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Pick it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... <gasps> Why? Break a leg out there. Thanks. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. All your fears are foolish, fancy, maybe. You know, dear, I don't that care. I'm in love with you. Every cloud must have Danny, a silver I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Trust me, things will get Until better. Just keep listening through. to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in the speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. I kiss away each tear. Trust me, things will get better. Just keep or listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in this speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. You in? Why not? Let's go for odds. Twenty six. Ah, Sorry, lady. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, thanks anyway. Wait, you ain't leaving till I get the dope on you. You really with the Valenti gang? There's only a few people, and maybe an animal or two, who'd be interested in Grandpa's smelly old pipe. But this isn't one of them. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> hey, Artie. 
back. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? Kid Tannen arrested. Oh, glorious day! When did it happen? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna. Keep me posted. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. A ghost that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's, uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. How's that song going over? If only I could convince a few of these night owls to stop and listen. Would you like to hear it? Uh, maybe later. I'll be here all night. You think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but hers is a little more carefree. That's what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? The mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. What's Kid Tannen been up to for the last two months? Didn't you hear? It was in all the papers. 
I've been uh, traveling. Well, the feds were all set to arrest Tannen on tax evasion charges. Seems they'd gotten Tannen's books from his accountant. I heard something about that, yeah. Well, the accountant disappeared, unsurprisingly. But the feds still thought they had a case. After all, they still had the books, right? Right. Wrong. The day before the trial, the books up and vanished right out of the court's evidence locker. No. Lots of fingers were pointed, but honestly, the whole town's so corrupt that it could have been anyone. Court clerks, cops, janitors. kids walking around free? Free, clear, and laughing it up in his new speakeasy. The feds want to bring a case up against him, but without those books, they've got nothing. Couldn't kid be brought up on other charges like, say, running a speakeasy? In a perfect world, yes. But no one in town seems to care about prohibition anymore. The feds are only interested because of the lost tax revenue. anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. You know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. Wouldn't happen to know anything about Trixie Trotter, would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? Whatever happened with that speakeasy arsonist? I was about to ask you the same question. Me? Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. What have you got against dogs, anyway? They're smelly. Rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Crockett. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Honey, you're just in time. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been... Uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but there'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this. When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. Get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. Oh. 
I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Majestic arms. Transients welcome. Well, they don't get more transient than me and Doc. Hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? I saw him. Who? My grandpa, on his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tanner. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Doc, Parker's in worse shape than we thought. We've screwed up his life so bad he's been dumped by Jennifer's future grandmother. Ah, I know. Marty, it's more important than ever that you get Officer Parker back on his destined path. If Jennifer never exists, then I'll never take you to 2015 to save your kids. Then old Biff will never... Paradox City, got it. Parker's in worse shape than we thought. We've screwed up his life so bad he's been dumped by Jennifer's future grandmother. Ah, I know. Marty, it's more important than ever that you get Officer Parker back on his destined path. If Jennifer never exists, then I'll never take you to 2015 to save your kids. Then old Biff will never... Paradox City, got it. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never have the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. But during that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well... Let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Emmett's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. Do? Hmm. I've got it. What? Just get my younger self distracted, and I'll handle the rest. Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Hey, who did burn down Tannen's original speakeasy anyway? I still don't know. I'd really like to find out before we go home. I never did get a straight answer about why he came back to 1931 in the first place. It's, uh, personal. When this is over, I'll tell you all about it. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know. Can you explain all this? I'm confused. It's very simple. In the original timeline, timeline A, the speakeasy arsonist was never caught, creating one of Hill Valley's enduring historical mysteries. Okay. When I travel back to 1931, I create a timeline B, in which I was misidentified as the arsonist and subsequently killed by Kit Tannen's goons. 
Einstein came with me, and somehow he ended up in the DeLorean when its failsafe mechanism triggered sending it back to 1986. Which is where I came in. Precisely. You traveled back to June 14, 1931, creating Timeline C, a world in which Carl Sagan wasn't rubbed out by Kid Tannen. But Arthur McFly was served with a subpoena. And shot by Kid Tannen's goons. Yes. So you jumped back in time six hours, creating Timeline D, saving your grandfather's life but somehow preventing Kit Tannen from meeting his date with justice. Which is why the Tannens were so powerful when we jumped back to 86. Uh Uh-huh. So now we've returned to August of 1931, creating Timeline E, in which, fingers crossed, we'll send Tannen to prison where he belongs. Got it? Sure. Good. One question. What? Can you explain all this? I'm confused. Why are Tannens always such jerks, anyway? Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue, Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Sonny. Once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. Why don't you go look for your car now? Leave Einy stuck on the ledge? <laughs> Never! Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car. Especially one that doesn't work at all. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Sonny. Once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo-goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. Very distracting. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. Do you know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? The nightingale of the north? The bluesy of the foothills? Uh... Never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into Tannen's speakeasy to listen to her. Have you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. So you're really going to see Frankenstein tonight? I'd hate for you to miss it. Oh, don't worry. Nothing in the world would keep me from seeing a movie about a mad scientist with delusions of godhood. Cool. So you're really going to see Frankenstein tonight? I'd hate for you to miss it. Oh, don't worry. Nothing in the world would keep me from seeing a movie about a mad scientist with delusions of godhood. Cool. Well, I'll go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Valley Expo, October 12th through the 15th. Doc says the Expo was the day he officially became a scientist. Seems like he's running a couple months ahead of schedule. Could Arthur be in there? It's 
way too dark and crowded for me to tell. Could Arthur be in there? It's way too dark and crowded for me to tell. Could Arthur be in there? It's way too dark and crowded for me to tell.